in this universe is made of atoms. According to Bose atom model, each atom consists of a nucleus and electrons revolve around the nucleus in a path called shells. The nucleus is made of protons and neutrons. The protons have positive electric charge and neutrons have no charge. So overall, the nucleus is positively charged. The electrons have negative electric charge. The electrons in the outermost shell is called valence electrons. For some materials like conductors, these electrons are loosely bound. That is, they can move freely. These electrons are called free electrons. So the conductors are made of atoms with loosely bound free electrons. We know that current is a flow of electrons. But how exactly the flow of these free electrons occur? To know about this, continue watching. Hi, this is Benila. I make videos based on electrical and electronics concepts. If you are into this, consider subscribing. Free electrons move randomly in the material. Can we consider this random movement of electrons as flow of electrons? What exactly the flow means? It means a steady continuous stream of something. For example, the flow of water into the pond. If you look carefully, the flow of water means water flowing in one direction. But here the random movement of electron is not in any particular direction. So what should we do to move all the electrons flow in one particular direction? If we need to move this ball from one point to another, what should we do? We just have to apply force on it. Similarly, we can move the electron to flow in one direction by applying a force. This force that moves an electron is called electromotive force or in other words, we can call it as voltage. So, what do I mean by applying a force? Is it possible to kick an electron so that it can move in particular direction? Of course not. We know that electrons are charged particles. Coulomb's law states that there is an electrical force between two charged objects. That is force of attraction and force of repulsion. We can use these forces to move an electron. That is, we can move the negatively charged electrons using a positive charge. We know that one of the source of voltage is battery. It has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. When a battery is connected, all these free electrons which are negatively charged are attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery. Similarly, from the negative terminal, the electrons are repelled. This causes the electron to flow in one particular direction. This flow of electron is called the current. Here, the direction of flow of electrons is from negative terminal to positive terminal. But the conventional current flows in opposite direction to the flow of electrons. For easy remembrance, we can compare this with the flow of water. The water always flows from higher level to lower level. Similarly, the current always flows from higher potential or voltage to lower potential or voltage. The unit of electric potential or voltage is volt. The unit of electric current is ampere. Do you know how many number of electrons are required to pass the point in a circuit in one second to get one amp current? We need 6.2 into 10 power 18 electrons. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will be notified each time I upload a video.